Hey guys, it's Ro. Welcome to another Nerdy Nummies. I got many requests from you guys to make something from The Emperor's New Groove, and I love this movie. It's one of my favorites, and my favorite character in the movie is Krunk. Krunk loves to cook. He's always making something, and in the movie, he makes spinach puffs. So I thought today, let's make Krunk spinach puffs. Let's get started. The things you will need will be two cups of frozen chopped spinach, one small onion diced, half a cup of feta cheese, half a cup of ricotta cheese, yum, 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 one egg yolk, one tablespoon of vegetable oil, two cloves of garlic chopped, and half a teaspoon of salt. Those are the ingredients for the filling, and then for the outside puff, we're gonna be using puff pastry sheet. Our tool will be one square cookie cutter. Now let's put it all together. <laughs> the first thing that we're gonna do to prepare our filling is take our spinach, onions, garlic, and oil over to the stove. Turn your flame to medium high heat, add the oil to your pan, and wait for it to shimmer. That means it's hot. Then add your onions and let them sweat for three to five minutes or until they are translucent. You don't want them to brown. Add your chopped garlic, cook until fragrant, about 30 seconds. Then add your frozen chopped spinach and cook until the liquid is gone. Turn off the heat and remove from the stove. We've got our spinach mixture right off the stove over here in a bowl and now we are gonna combine our cheeses and egg yolk. I'm gonna put in the ricotta and our feta cheese and our egg yolk. I'm just using the jiggle method, then bring over the yolk. Then using a spatula, I'm just gonna mix everything together. Once mixed, now I'm gonna add my spinach mixture, and it's the perfect time. By the time you have the cheeses mixed up, the spinach has cooled down just a little bit. It doesn't need to be cold, but you don't want it right off the stove. Mix together until well combined. Oh my gosh, I love doing food. Our mixture is complete, and now we're gonna make our pastry square. So I'm gonna set this off to the side. I've got these puff pastry sheets over here and these come frozen so you're gonna want to let it defrost in your fridge for a few hours before you work with it and over here I've got a cutting board a little bit of flour I'm gonna sprinkle it down first and then we're gonna open these up oh I got a coupon a coupon oh my gosh I'm a real winner just gonna give it a gentle roll with my rolling pin to smooth out the fold lines to make it look like one sheet Take your square cookie cutter and now we're gonna cut out nine squares. Each of these sheets makes nine, so you can make 18 of these today. Remove the excess dough and place your little squares onto a baking sheet lined with a piece of parchment paper. We've got our spinach mixture over here, a little bit of egg wash, which is one egg mixed with a little bit of salt, and our pastries over here. Time to assemble our spinach puffs. First thing that you're gonna do is take your little square, turn it like this so it looks like a diamond and I'm gonna take a little baking brush and just brush off any excess flour take a small spoonful of spinach filling placing it in the middle towards the top take a little bit of egg wash and I'm gonna brush it on the bottom like a V now take the corners and you're gonna bring them to the middle around the filling and pinch them together and you're gonna to want to pinch them hard because while these are baking pastry puffs like to now you're gonna do this to the rest of your spinach puffs. Here are all of our spinach puffs. I pop these into the freezer for about 10 minutes to chill because puff pastry cooks the best when it's really cold. We are gonna bake these at 400 degrees for 15 minutes, and if you are baking two trays of these, you are gonna switch them halfway through. If it's on a top rack and a bottom rack, halfway through, switch. Ta-da! Here are crunk spinach puffs that we made today from the movie Emperor's New Groove. I absolutely love that movie. These smell so good. If you like spinach dip, you may love spinach puffs. Yum, 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 yum. I'll be taking lots of pictures of these and posting them on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Tumblr. And if you guys make these, please take a picture and send it to me. I love seeing your baking creations. I get a big kick out of it. it makes my day. And if you have any other ideas for any other nerdy nummies, please let me know. Leave me a comment down below and I will do my best to make it happen. Thanks again, you guys. Bye-bye. Okay, it's time to eat one of these. It's a little flaky and I love it.